I regret switching to Apple ecosystem for one reason and the one reason only and it's probably not what you think it is so let me explain. I started the switch to Apple ecosystem around three years ago and I started with the iPad Pro and after getting an iPad I got a pair of AirPods and then I got an iPhone and then a Mac and as I was buying each one I certainly was filled with joy and I really enjoyed them and found all of them to be incredibly useful but I still noticed a trend and a major negative especially with Apple products would you be able to guess what is it that made me regret buying these products is it the price well not really I paid 1000 pounds for this iPad and using only this product I made well over 5000 pounds so it's absolutely worth it and although Apple products are really expensive they really do age very well so what about the ecosystem was it the ecosystem that made me regret the switch because, you know, I'm stuck in this closed ecosystem that I can't escape. Do I feel like there are so many better options out there that I'm unable to get because I'm stuck here in this ecosystem? Well, that's not really the case because I had and still have many non-Apple products. For example, I had this iPad with an Android phone for around a year and I managed to make them work well together and you can watch this video on some tips that helped me in this process and I would gladly get any non on Apple product if I actually like it and see that it's gonna add value to my workflow or quality of life and I will make a way to make it fit if I really want to but let me tell you that it's quite rare to find products that are better than Apple's because objectively speaking the company now is at its peak in almost every single tech category. Well then, is it because of the lack of customization in Apple products? Do I hate the fact that my Apple products look exactly the same as any other Apple products for other people? Actually, not really. I couldn't care less about customization and my approach to technology is more of a minimal approach and I prioritize what works well over what looks better. But with that being said, the number one complaint that I've had with this switch to Apple ecosystem is not actually the products themselves but rather the attitude that I've had in the result of switching. It's this one thing that I and perhaps many people experience every time we buy an Apple product. It's this feeling of being ungrateful and what I mean by that is that we forget that at the end of the day tech products are just tools just like any other tools and I would always fall into the trap of thinking that oh I can't make the videos I want until I get this specific Mac or I would have gotten a lot better grades if I only had this iPad and the reality is that that's not really true at all I see so many people online make the same mistake over and over again in reality, the fanciest laptop or iPad is not going to get you the highest grades. Buying the best camera and the best computer is not going to make you the best YouTuber. Just like how giving the bad football player the best football boots. It's just not going to make any difference because the player is just bad. And having good football boots is not going to change that. Although I'm the biggest believer that tech products are really important and that they can change your life. but I now think of them as amplifiers. They just amplify and enhance who you actually are. If you are someone who doesn't work hard and get distracted easily, buying the best tech products is not going to change anything and it will only distract you even more and make the situation even worse. So what I learned is that before I buy any tech product next time, I will ask myself, do I actually deserve this? Have I actually made the most out of what I already have in the first place and used those to show my potentials? Am I the good football player who's gonna make the most out of the good football boots? And I encourage everyone to ask themselves the same questions so that they don't regret anything in the future. Watch this video if you want to find out if AI can replace tech reviewers and thank you for watching.